old bloke to take on this young fella? Yeah. Yeah. A race. Yeah, race. You want to have a race? Yeah, absolutely, Dave. Third, third show from the end, and you want to have a, what do you want to have a race for? I don't know what you're using. Yeah. I reckon I was still, still there, yeah. Right, well, you get up there and you grab the best sheet. I think you're going to need all the help you can do. Okay, I'll so grab the best sheet. You go find the best sheet you can get. No offence, but I mean, I've got 2,500 RPM, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. What hopes you got? Let's see how we go. Okay. So if we are out there shearing an in industry, we'd be uh, shearing for what we call four runs in four runs. We have two hours in each run, and then we have a short break, get back into it after half an hour for smoke, go out for lunch and half an hour again for smoke go in the afternoon. Each one of those two hour runs, we're exerting the same amount of energy as a marathon runner. So it's like shearing four marathons in a day. So we don't want to be doing any more than we have to. We want to teach our men and women when they're shearing to shear as efficiently and effectively as they can. You got yours, Elko? Yeah, I've got a good one, Dane. You said, said get, a, get a good one. Hang yeah. on, Elko. What's wrong, Mickey? That's certainly a good one. Yeah, no, it is. Can everyone see what I can see? Yeah, well, we're we'll having sure a race. Sure. Mickey, I'll tell you what, what uh, I really have done here. Yeah. You alluded there earlier, Dane, that uh, you know the original Merino sheep were only about half a size. Yeah. I couldn't shrink the sheep, but what I could do to resemble the original Merino sheep was take the take the belly roll off in between the legs, around the breech, in the head, down the head. So uh... You're cheating. Yep. Yeah. Okay. You got a fair hair right. start there, Elko. You might as well be honest about it, mate. Okay. It's all that hoo ha you want, but at the end of the day you're cheating. Okay, that's all right. I still think I can cover this man here. What I'll do though, I'm going to be shearing here. I can't really see anything from behind me because I'll be working to this down tube. So I need all the boys and girls out there in the crowd. If you can watch him, if you see him cheating, can you just let me know? Call that cheater at the top of your voice, right? Eh? Okay, let's get this race on the way. You right, Elko? Okay? Yeah, I'm right. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Thank you, whoever that was. Mate, I haven't called you in yet. All right, you ready? Okay. Okay, let's go. You ready? Three, yeah. two, one. Oh, we did. Wow. Sorry. Yeah. Sir, you're playing thumb walls there earlier, but now you've got to give us a handy. The rest of the crowd as well. I didn't let you know. I'll say three, two, one, you all say go, okay? It's going to happen all around the grounds when you go. I didn't realise you had an afternoon crowd. Okay, let's get it another way. Three, two, one. Ooh. You're right, mate. I didn't hear go. He suffers a little bit of industrial deafness, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. He's been shearing next to this thing for 40 years. You're going to have to get a little bit more louder for me. Come on, Sydney. Last day of the show. Three, two, one. Go! Yeah, oh, that's better. Okay. All right, we're underway. So you'll see the difference. And like I say, we'll shear the sheep. I'll have to work to the down tube. I'll go there. He's not restricted by anything. If we're shearing out an industry, I'd be getting between 4 and $5 per head or get paid on a piece rate to shear. And an average shearer shearing 120 sheep a day. Shearing around that five, six hundred dollars a day. Our elite shear is also known as the gun. As you heard in the song at the start of the demonstration. They can be shearing anywhere up to 200 and 300 sheep a day. So they're well up around that thousand to fifteen hundred dollars a day. Annualise that out over a 40 week year. They're well up over $250,000. So I'll turn now into this first hind leg area. You see Mickey starts to come in here. She's identified a few different inferior lines of wool. We've got to remove any locks. We need to remove any shanks. The shanks is a hollow fibre. They're a medulated fibre. They need to be removed because they don't absorb the dye. If you remember back in the 90s, you might have bought a jumper and they've got that little bit of a fleck to them. Well, that's what that is there. The most important thing that she's removed, though, is this thing right here. So one handful of this can ruin about 60 tonnes of wool down the wool pipeline. This is from the back end of the animal. And imagine what you'd be like around this area if you weren't able to clean yourself up. This is all the urine stain, the dung and all that sort of stuff. So we want to make sure that that comes out. Do you want to take that home with you? No? So, okay, well, I'll just... I don't look too keen, Dan. Okay, so we'll just keep on shearing. So that ultimately is what the wall handlers are doing. They're wanting to prepare this beautiful fibre that we're harvesting, ready for when it goes on to get it be processed over in China, Italy, wherever it may be. How you going over there, Rocco? Yeah, pretty good, Dane. I'm just about to drop onto the long bar, so... 
Oh, well, you've been talking, I've been busy sharing. <laughs> right, I'm only just up the next, so I'm going to oh, get a hug. Really? Jeez, I didn't think you were serious about this race. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Right, well, I'll get a, get a move on here, and you can see now as I start to open the place up, I'm working the sheet to the down tube, keeping that down tube hanging nice and straight. So I'm not having to pull, not having to strain. Nice neutral back also. That's another question we get quite often by people. They say, how's your back? Well, if we keep a nice neutral back, bend at the knees. That allows our left hand, our free hand, to do its work. The sheep are comfortable. And I'm controlling the sheep with my feet as we turn up. We'll turn down the last side, and I hate to be the bearer of bad news, Elko, but uh, I think this one's going to be mine again. So, uh, see you later, mate. Nice knowing you, but... Uh, I might have blown my machine up, I think. Uh, uh, what, did you stop, Dave? I don't know. Machine just stopped. I might have blown it up. I've got it going a bit there. Um, oh, go, did you cheat again? No. No, Dicky. No. What, what happened? What did he do? Someone blocked yours. Oh, he's unplugged me. Yeah, no, that's all right. That's a, that's a good opportunity. I was gonna, I was gonna stop anyway, but I'll, I'll be able to stop. I'll show you how to hypnotise this sheep, and I'll slip over and I'll plug that back in. Do you want to see me hypnotise this sheep? Yep. Remember that crocodile Dundee movie where he does the buffalo thing? Yep. I'll, I'll be able to do that. So first things first, I just get this boot like this, and I just put it underneath there like that. Okay. Now we make a pillow. We've got a pillow there. That's the belly wool. Now we just the crocodile Dundee. Down she goes. We'll give her a blanket. Okay. Well, I'll be Nikki. I didn't think he, he could hypnotise the sheep. Elko, Dane can't hypnotise the sheep. Tell everyone what you really did, Dane. Oh, I just pulled the wool over her eyes, Nikki. <laughs> what I was actually showing is you can see where I put my foot was where the boot was. When we're teaching men and women out there to shear in the industry, if we can show them that they can do that and the sheep can walk, the sheep will stay there and they're nice and comfortable. It just illustrates that the control we have on this sheep was simply the placement of that foot in the correct place there. So as we continue to shear along, that just allows me to use my left hand to work that skin. You can see there's a lot of skin on this neck here, a lot of loose skin as we're down that last side. Oh, no, Dave. I just remembered. What do you remember? Well, we've got a couple of things before everyone can go yet. Nicky's yeah. the best till last. Nicky's going to throw that fleece of your shearing onto the table. Right. And the other thing is, I just remembered. Yeah. Because we've got a shortage out there in the industry. Yeah. Every show, we've got to try and teach a couple of people how to shear a sheep. Oh, so yeah. hands up, who'd like to shear a sheep? Okay, we've got more than two. Yeah, so what are we going to do, Nikki? What do you reckon if we run a competition? Yeah, I think that might be a good yeah, idea, yeah, okay? Right if everyone thinks of a number between one and ten, Dane will think of a number, I'll think of a number. If yep. it matches him, so hand, hands up. Right. Yep. What's, what's your number over there? Seven. Seven. Come on up, you're going to learn how to shear a sheep. Right, who else wants to have a shear? Yep, what's your number? Do you support it? I don't, won't hold that against you. Uh, 